And just ahead of the Kim Putin summit, North Korea fired more ballistic missiles toward the East Sea. This launch is the first to take place while Kim Jong Un has not been in North Korea. Our defense correspondent Choi Min Jung tells us what's behind its intention. Just over an hour before North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met Russian President Vladimir Putin in Russia, North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles toward the East Sea. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced Wednesday that the two missiles were fired between 11.43 and 11.53 a.m., each flying around 650 kilometers from North Korea's Sunan region. The launch is believed to be the first to take place while Kim has been away. It is very unusual for North Korea to launch SRBMs while Kim Jong-un is in another country. In the broader sense, it shows that Kim never neglects security issues, even when he is away from North Korea. Likewise, experts believe the launch is aimed at conveying that the regime is confident in its military readiness, even without the leader's presence. Professor Yang also said that we cannot rule out the possibility that the launch could have come in response to a possible surveillance flight near the North's airspace, carried out by the U.S. on the occasion of Kim's visit to Russia. Looking at North Korea's SRBM launches up until now that flew about 300 to 700 kilometers, most of them were launched during Seoul Washington military exercises or when U.S. reconnaissance aircraft operated close to North Korea's exclusive economic zone. The South Korean military said it is maintaining its full readiness stance through close cooperation with the U.S. It also strongly condemned Pyongyang's successive ballistic missile launches, calling them acts of provocation that undermine peace on the Korean peninsula and beyond. During phone talks, the top nuclear envoys of South Korea, U.S. and Japan denounced the regime's provocation, saying it is a clear violation of many U.N. Security Council resolutions and a serious threat to regional peace and stability. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.